In this video, we're going to talk about blockchain and cryptocurrency. So if you're interested about that topic, then stay tuned in this topic, in this video, right? So hi guys, my name is Jan. I'm the founder of The Present, where we talk about business, finance, and life-related matters. And this video is inspired by a question, or should I say a statement, coming from Ken Berry. So he said, let's talk about blockchain and cryptocurrency. Which is, I think, is a good topic to discuss, especially nowadays that um, the cryptocurrency market is on the rise, right? And a lot of people are interested about it, but they don't really understand what it is, what is a blockchain, what is a cryptocurrency, and how does it even work. So in this video, we're going to do our best to enlighten you with the idea, or at least you know what you're getting yourself into if you're going to decide to trade or invest in the cryptocurrency market, right? As one of the principles that we have been mentioning for quite some time now is that you never should invest in anything that you do not understand. So you have to make sure that you understand the concept of it first, at least the concept of it, in order for you to say that, okay, I'm willing to risk your, my money to invest in that certain asset class, okay? So let's go into blockchain, right? Let's try to understand first what blockchain is. Okay, and the best way for us to know that is for us to look at the traditional way of financial systems. Okay, when I talk about the traditional way of finance, finance systems, it's what we are doing right now. Like we use banks in order for us to transact. Regardless if it's going to be personal or business transactions, you need a bank in order for you to send money over there and to another person's account. Okay, so this is, I'm going to show you how the traditional finance system works and i'm pretty sure that you can relate to this because you understand or you are actually using the the platform right or the system that we are using right now and so imagine this is you okay that you're seeing right now on your screen and there is another person that you would want to pay for whatsoever reason Okay, you may want to pay him because you purchase a certain service or you purchase a certain product coming from him and so you want to pay him, right? But the problem is you don't have cash on hand. So what you're going to do is that you're just going to transfer the money to his bank account. That's what we usually do nowadays, okay? So imagine that's a situation. You want to transfer the money to this person, to point at the person B, right? And so what you're going to do is you're going to bank transfer a certain amount, whatever that amount is, to that person, okay? And when you do, the moment you do that, there is what we call a ledger, which is basically a record of all of the things that we have done with our money, right? So if we send money to that person, what ends up happening is in our account, it's going to be deducted and in that person's account, it's going to be added, okay? So it's subtracted in our account because we send the money to him as a form of payment, but for him, it is considered to be an income. But in that case, since we are using the banking system that we have right now, which is what we call the traditional system, then it is recorded in their ledger, okay? That is why if you notice, guys, that if you have been using bank transactions and there are moments that you're going to transact like big amounts, they're going to hold the amount for a while, like sometimes going to like um, for 48 hours or 72 hours or even for a week. It's because it's part of their regulation, right? Because it's, it's centralized in one specific area. In this case, it's the bank. Are you getting it so far? So this is how a traditional finance system works. So when we talk about blockchain, it is decentralized finance, okay? So what do we mean by decentralized finance? It's not, it's not governed or managed by one central body, okay? So unlike the traditional system, it's managed and regulated by only one central body, and that is the banking system, the Federal Reserve, or whatever you call it, okay? So this is a simple concept of what a blockchain is. So imagine this is you, just like the situation a while ago, you needed to pay your friend a certain amount. It may be for a product or it may be for a service or whatsoever reason, right? It's the same situation, okay? But this time, 
The difference between a traditional finance system and a blockchain system or technology is that you have your own ledger. You have your own records and your pers your, the person that you're going to send the money to, he has his own ledger as well or records as well. Okay? So it's not managed by one central system. It's between you and the person that you're dealing with. Okay? How are you going to send the money? In this case, we're talking about cryptocurrency. In this case, we're also talking about the coins, right? Like Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum. And later on, I'm going to share with you guys what are the cryptocurrencies. I'm just trying to understand, let you understand what a blockchain technology is or what's the concept of how it works. Okay? So nowadays, we have the technology. In this case, we're using our e-wallets or our mobile phones to transfer a certain cryptocurrency to a person, right? Whether it may be for a form of payment or donation or whatsoever reason. But the good thing about it is that it's not going to go through a third party or a bank. It's going directly to the person that you're transacting to. So the records will be found in your own personal ledger and that, perso and that person's ledger. So you have your own ledgers, you know, unique ledgers, and you don't have to go through a third party. That's the main difference between the traditional system and the blockchain technology. Getting it so far? Right? So, when it comes to cryptocurrency, okay, I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are intrigued by this system or by this investment platform, right? Especially that Elon Musk, the Tesla company, bought 1.5 billion bitcoins, right? Worth of bitcoins. So when we talk about cryptocurrency, guys, there are a lot of cryptocurrency as currencies out there. The most famous one is what we call Bitcoin, right? But a lot of people don't know that there are also what we call altcoins or alternative coins. And these are Ethereum, Ripple, Litecoin, Dash, ADA, Link, and so much more, okay? So in my personal opinion, guys, when it comes to the cryptocurrency, it's going to disrupt the finance space, okay? So just like what I mentioned a while ago, the difference between the traditional system is that we have a bank. So they manage and they have their own records of all the transactions that we have. But for the blockchain technology, we have our own records and our own ledger. And there is, I'm just going to send the money to you or you're going to send the money to me directly, right? So that's how the blockchain technology works. So that's the reason why I can consider it as a disruptor in the finance space because it is basically what Facebook, Google, Uber, Airbnb has done to a specific industry. What do I mean? For example, Facebook. Imagine before, like way, way back, when we want to know about a certain news, where do we go? We need TV, right? We need newspapers or sometimes magazines or we get the information from the radio. What's happening to the world? What's happening to the economy, to the society? We're getting it from that platform. But when Facebook arrived, most of our news are coming from Facebook. So that's the reason why it's called social media, right? It's because it disrupted the traditional media, which is print, TV, radio, and things like that. When you talk about Google, before, if you want to know about a certain thing, you go to a library, you get a book to understand what it is about, to research about a certain topic. But now all you have to do is go to Google or YouTube in order for you to know what you're looking for. The answers are there, right? The reason why you're in this video right now, maybe it's because you want to understand about cryptocurrency, but you didn't go to the library, you went to Google or YouTube, and this is where it routed you. When we talk about Uber, the taxi services, that's what Uber disrupted. We just grab or like book a car service, and then we're there. It's just, it's that easy. Airbnb disrupted the real estate market. Okay? But they don't really own any real estate. See? So what these companies have done to traditional media, to information, to taxi services and real estate, that's what cryptocurrency is doing and the blockchain technology for 
the finance market. That's just my opinion in a way. It's not really a fact yet, but somehow it is slowly becoming a fact because people are using cryptocurrency to transact for a certain thing. Like Tesla is even thinking about it. Like they're going to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. But I'm not saying, for me, it's just this, another, my, this is another opinion of mine. I think that the fiat currency that we have, which is the $100, or if you're in the Philippines, like the Philippine peso or whatever, wherever you are in the world, the paper money that we have, it's not going to go away, right? Because there are some people who are not really knowledgeable or even don't know how to use technology. And so if they don't know how to use technology, they cannot transact with cryptocurrency right but they still need to spend in order for them to live to buy food to pay for shelter or service so the fiat currency is always will be there but it's just that there's going to be another evolution in the finance space and that's a cryptocurrency okay and it has been in the hype right now as of this recording and let me just show you the charts okay so this is my account in eToro and uh, as you can see here, the chart of Bitcoin is skyrocketing. Like it's currently $48,000 for one Bitcoin. So it came to a point back in 2020, it was really, really down, but it's currently going up. In fact, people think that it's going to be a bubble. Some, there will come a point in time that's going to pop. Well, let's just wait for that to happen. If it happens, it's really not a, like I don't want to predict. When it happens, it happens. That's my own principle about it. So if you look at it, the one-year return, as you can see here on your screen, right? It mentioned here that it's 405.98%. Imagine if you invested whatever amount last year, okay? You would have quadrupled your money. So if you invested $100,000 last year in Bitcoin, it's currently around $400,000 today after one year okay the cryptocurrency market is very volatile because a lot of people think that it's a scam a lot of people are are enthusiastic about it a lot of people think that it's going to disrupt the market and things like that and a lot of traders or even investors find it very risky because it is prone to pump and dump the strategy of pump and dump well whatever whatever the market is saying about it but the point is as of the data right now the cryptocurrency market is going up and it's not just bitcoin right bitcoin is in the forefront it's spearheading but ethereum is considered to be the second most famous cryptocurrency before bitcoin and it is also going up so imagine if you invested a hundred dollars even just a hundred dollars right it would have multiplied by six times if you invested in it last year. Because as you can see here on your screen, the one year return is around 605.63%. Okay, not just Ethereum, we're also talking about Litecoin, right? Which is an altcoin, alternative coin, and it's also going up 214% one year return. We also have ADA, okay? Which is also another type of cryptocurrency. It's like around 1,399.31% growth, okay? If you invested in it last year. We also have Ripple, 119%, and we also have Dash, which is 115%. By the way, guys, the platform that I'm using that you are seeing right now on your screen is actually eToro. What I like about eToro is that it's a brokerage firm that allows me to invest in the Forex market, the copy trade, copy portfolio, US equities, ETFs, and even cryptocurrency and commodities. So it's very diverse and it's very easy to use. So if in case, if in case you are very interested to invest in the stock market, US stock market, ETFs, commodities, cryptocurrency, forex, copy people, if you don't know how to trade or invest and you want to copy someone else, then I recommend this platform, which is eToro. And uh, I'm going to put the link in the description just in case you want to open an account. The moment you open an account, by the way, you will receive $100,000 virtual money or demo account. That means it's basically like a play money that you can try to use in the market for you to say that, if you like it or not, or if you are gaining money or not, and you can technically test the platform out if you like it. 
Now, eToro is not the only platform out there or the brokerage firm out there that you can use, but it's just that that we have been using it for quite some time and I find it to be easy and you can try it out as well, okay? So I'm going to put the link in the description, just like the link that you're seeing right now on your screen. I'm going to put this in the description so that all you have to do is click that link if in case you want to open an account, okay? So I myself have been investing in cryptocurrency and luckily or fortunately for me, I was able to invest in it when the Bitcoin was around $9,000, okay? So later, I'm going to show you the growth of that. So the stats right now of my portfolio generally from equities to cryptocurrency to ETFs is that for 2020, the growth of my portfolio has been 47.64% which is, for me, it's considered to be good. By the way, guys, just letting you know that I am not a trader. My approach, my objective is really more of an investor, okay? So, meaning to say, I buy a certain thing, an asset class, and hold it for a long time. Now, obviously, before I buy a certain thing, I do my best to research about it, to do, to study about it, so that I would say that I can confidently say that, okay, this is a good investment platform. That's the reason why I'm going to invest my money over there. Okay, so that's one of my principles. I really study a certain thing before I put my money over there. And so far for 2021, as you can see here on your screen, the growth for two months is 26.71%, right? That's the portfolio, that's my portfolio performance so far. And just going to show you my cryptocurrency portfolio since we're talking about port cryptocurrency here. As you can see, 8% of my asset or, or my, what do you call this, portfolio is Ethereum. And it's currently up by 52.34%. Okay? And um, XRP, which is Ripple, it's up by 26.79%. We also have ADA. It's 15.29%. We also have Google, which is not a cryptocurrency, but uh, let's just skip that because we're talking about cryptocurrency in this video. So we also have Bitcoin, which is up by 439.57%, right? Just like what I mentioned a while ago, I was able to invest in cryptocurrency, specifically in Bitcoin, when it was around $9,000, and it's currently around $48,000 per Bitcoin. And then we have Dash. So it's currently 99.41% profit, and LTC is my last one, which is 45.01%. So as you can see, guys, um, I was able to invest in cryptocurrency when it was down, and that's the reason why the gains are very, very fast. But just letting you know that if in case you're thinking about investing in crypto, you have to think that it's very volatile. You have to understand that the market is very volatile. That means the prices can go up fast and that also means that it can go down fast. So you really have to be very careful to invest only the money that you can afford to lose. Okay? Because we'll never know what's going to happen to the market. Maybe it's true that it's a pump and dump strategy for hedge funds or for big investors, right? We don't know. That's the reason why the prices are going up because the supply is going down and the demand is going up, right? And so when, they, when the big investors decide to sell, then what ends up happening is that the supply will go up and that's the reason why the price will go down. Are you getting it so far? So what I'm trying to say is that it's very volatile, so it is highly recommended that you only put the money that you can afford to lose. By the way, this video is not a recommendation video that you should invest in this, you should invest in that, no. I'm just showing you and trying to explain to you what cryptocurrency is and where you can invest your money if you want to, but you should do your own research and only invest the money that you can afford to lose. Okay, now, Let's say, for example, that you want to copy, because uh, there are some in the present community that are asking me, Sir Jan, what is your profile in eToro? Because we just want to copy whatever it is that you're doing, and so that whatever, whatever is my gain is also their gain. So if you want to do that, just like what you're seeing now in your screen, the link is over there. All you have to do is copy that, or better yet, we're going to put it in the description so that you can just click that link, and then it will route you to copy me if in case you are considering to copy me, 
right? On eToro, okay? Because if you're just going to search Jano Camp over there, you're not going to see me because I'm not a popular investor or something like that. It's just that we thought about doing this because this is starting to become a frequently asked question coming from the present community, okay? So guys, I'm really hoping that um, cryptocurrency and blockchain was explained to you at least a little bit or I was able to shed some light on this matter because it's one of the topics that a lot of people are thinking about or are interested in, okay? And I really want to know about your question or should I say your insights about crypto. crypto. So the question of the day is, what are your thoughts about cryptocurrency, right? Do you find it good? Do you find it bad? Do you find it valuable? What, it, what, it, what do you think about it in general? The blockchain cryptocurrency. Let me know in the comment section. And I'm really happy to see you here. If this video added value to you in any way, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified. Okay? So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. See you on the next one.